video is brought to you by Sky Firearms. For more information, go to SCCY.com. That's Sky.com. Hey there, folks. Paul Markle with Student of the Gun, and today we're going to talk about being a tactical switch hitter. And you're like, what in the world does that mean? When I grew up, I had a father who loved baseball. He was a Detroit Tigers fan, and when I was a little kid, I was introduced to baseball and baseball terminology and so forth, and I was probably in elementary school young when I heard of the term switch hit. Now in baseball, a switch hitter is a batter who is just as comfortable batting from the left side of the plate as he is from the right side of the plate and he can go back and forth so the pitcher never knows when that guy steps up which side of the plate he's going to be on. And this is a strategic thing for baseball because it screws with the pitcher and so on and so forth. But when it comes to carrying a gun, being an armed citizen, how does tactical switch hitter apply to us? Well, if you're carrying a gun, and I'm going to go ahead and clear it out. Don't want to be an Alec Baldwin here. Make sure. Uh, if you're carrying a gun and you need to use it in self-defense, the best case scenario is to put both hands on it, steady the gun, press the trigger as many times as needed. That's the best case scenario. But is that always the scenario that we're presented with? No. There may be times when, you know, I'm a righty, so there may be times when this hand is occupied doing something, and the best I can do is get my paw on this gun, press it out, and shoot. Maybe the situation has changed, something has happened, my good hand is not available. I have to pick it up with my support hand and shoot. Can I do that? Am I comfortable doing that? And you say, well, in an emergency, I'll know what to do, or in a crisis, I'll know what to do. Have you ever practiced it? Do you ever practice it? Or did you do it once and decided that your shot groups didn't look very good, so you stopped doing it? This is a very typical scenario. Guys will go to the range, they go to the outdoor range, indoor range, whatever. They set up a target at three, five, seven yards, maybe. And they load up their favorite blaster. And this blaster is the Sky CPX3. It's a 380. This is probably, right now, one of my favorite guns from Sky Firearms, the CPX3. Three. It's a 380 auto. But what do guys do? They set a target out, let's say five yards. They load up their favorite blaster, put two hands on the gun, take their time, boom. And they fire one magazine, two magazines, or whatever, reel the target back in, groups this big, and they high five their buddies. They're like, woo, look how good I can shoot. Okay, great. Do they shoot only with their support hand or do they shoot only with their, I'm sorry, their strong hand or only with their support hand? Well, if I do that, my, my, my shot groups, they're not like this anymore. They're like that and it doesn't look good and around. So I don't do it because I want to look good. Or it feels uncomfortable. And because it feels uncomfortable, I don't practice it. Ladies and gentlemen, how do we get better? How do we improve ourselves? We improve ourselves by doing that which is uncomfortable until it becomes comfortable. Or we do something that we're not good at until we become good at it. Aha! So, uh, there have been a lot of situations in the real world where police officers, concealed carriers, what have you, have had to use just one hand to do their business. Sometimes it's only the strong hand. Sometimes it's only the support hand. Either way, when you need to do that, that's not the first time you want to have done it. You want to be comfortable. You want to be good. You want to be able to do it on demand. I'll give you a hint. These things have these cool deals called a front sight. When you're holding, pushing it out. Now, most people don't shoot from their opposite side because generally, not always, but generally, people have a dominant eye on the same side as their dominant hand. So when I put this gun out, I naturally line it up with my dominant eye. What if I am right eye dominant, put the gun in my left hand? All I do is cant the gun, put the sight in front of my right eye. When it's there, I press the trigger. There you go. So the next time you guys go to the range, 
I want you to schedule some time to shoot not just with both hands on the gun, but I want you to shoot with your strong hand only, and then I want you to take some time, punch that gun out, find the front sight, and practice shooting with your support hand. All right, I am Paul Markle from Student of the Gun. Remember, you're a beginner once, a student for life.